You know, it looks so different in the camera than it does in person. My hair, it's short. What's going on there? It looks so different in the camera. It's too much of my face. <laughs> short. That's all right. In two weeks, it'll grow out. How's everybody? I needed something. Plus, when she does it, it always turns out different than when I do it. It's usually flatter when she does it. No. Oh, I need some loop time. Hi, Sue Hall. Wandering sand. Hello, hello, hello. Why am I grunting? Because I got things on my mind. That's why. And you know, I'm going to put this on. And here's the part that's going to suck. I have eggnog. This thing is full. Can you... Taking three sips out of it. Kathy, hello, hello, hello. And it's been sitting here for almost an hour. <laughs> Man, I look like I have a big bowling ball head. <laughs> now that my hair's cut. That's all right. It's just hair. It grows back. I told her to cut it short. <sighs> so yes, went to the salon today and got it all chopped off. Well, <laughs> Look how short it is. It's so short. I told you. Two and a half weeks, though, it'll be grown out a little bit. Hey, I can't afford to go to her all the time. So, <laughs> kind of short. So, it lasts longer. <clears throat> Well, we have 13 people in here and only about three or four people who have spoken. Thank you, Wandering Sand. It looks different on here than when I look at myself. It looks better when I look at myself in the mirror than when I look on here. Because you can't see all the little wispy hairs and all the little cuteness going on the forehead. It just looks like a big, fat, blazing forehead. <laughs> Because I have a big forehead. Because I have a big head. Big face. I know. Sometimes when I was around T, Merry Christmas, Kate. And, you know, like we're the same height almost. I'm 5'8", five, I'm five she was 5'7". Winter days, hello. And, you know, we'd both be in the mirror doing our makeup and stuff. And one day I saw her head next to my head. Okay, right. It looked like this. And I went, wow, look at how small your face is compared to mine. <laughs> we laughed so hard. Well, that was a moment of recognition. <laughs> mm. So what's going on with you guys? I got some little gifts. Some little gifts from Chunky. Mm-hmm. Where's my necklace? It doesn't stand out here too much because y'all know about the honeybee already. So. A Chunky goes, Winter, I'm watching you tonight. Oh, Winter done put herself on the radar. 
What is Sunny Shines in here? What did I miss? Oh, Sunny, hey. Oh, sorry you're sick, honey. Um. Oh, Kate O'Hara, thank you. It's a happy face. It's a happy big face. <laughs> Winter days goes kitten. Hmm. Yeah, so I got this little keychain thing, but I'm going to take it off. And I'm either going to put it on a necklace, on a chain around my neck, or I'm going to attach it, that little part right there, to a bracelet. So I can see it all the time. Because it says, you are my person. You will always be my person. So she's already taken ownership. For those of you that were wondering... <laughs> <clears throat> you just watch, kitten. When a day says, okay, so Kate's baking cookies. Uh, Kate, before I get to winter days nonsense, um, Kate, I, I got a prime rib roast to do that my neighbor bought. And, uh, you know, it's my charge to cook it. On the grill, since I don't have an oven. So, you know, we got to fight with the weather. I told him it may be on Christmas, it may not be. So, you're going to have to roll with that, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Bird nest, baby! We got our troublemakers in the house. So, winter days says you just watch kitten i'm flying in like a snowstorm <laughs> oh yes our biggest fear to run into a snowstorm you just nailed that one sunny shines i went to the doctor yesterday and just making sure not to hydrate it for the holidays so i got back so you go back the 29th. Okay. Well, yeah, drink that fluid. Here's to you. Here's my eggnog and whiskey from my neighbor. Oh, it's strong. The first one was really yummy. And then he gave me a second one to go because it was getting cold outside. And this one is strong and I've been sipping on it for over an hour. And seriously, it's like right there you can see it I'm gonna spill it too because I'm a knucklehead like that but it's right there I was talking to Chunky and I'm like I got the whiskey brain tonight <laughs> I don't drink whiskey oh but he does and he wanted to share it's my autistic neighbor and he doesn't have any socializing so I'm his social contact. So here's the back. It's all short back there, too. There's, there's not a tail back there, is there? <laughs> I hope not. It's really short. Thank you, Sonny. Pula says hi from Kazakhstan. I don't know who you are. We'll keep an eye on you. Some fat white kid. Hey, how are you guys doing? We're doing good. Chunky, I can't see your symbols that you're sending. They're coming across like squares with hatches. Thank you, Bird Nest. You know I could say something, bird nest, right? But I'm not going to. <laughs> Hi, Irene. Yeehaw! Suhal is good for doing the yeehaw. Oh, the beer. I get that now. Yeah. It's Whiskey Fat Cat tonight. <laughs> I tell him what could happen. Oh. 
I'm scared of that drink, so I'm just sipping. He does winter days because he's lonely, you know, and he's developed a comfort level with me. Uh, Chunky Kitten pointed out to me. She knows more about autism than I do. She said, you're his safe place. So, you know, he wants some companionship. So I do it. Well, maybe a little tail back there. And is there just a little tiny one? Because that's how my hair goes. Goes down into a tail. There might be tails in other places, too. We don't know yet. <laughs> We're still discovering. So, yeah, I want to put her little sweet thing on a necklace or bracelet. I can see it more often in a bracelet. Can't really see it up here. And there's more. She got me some really expensive slippers. These things are stout. They're like shoes, really, not slippers. They're real, real thick on the bottom. And all white, I said, I'm going to dirty these up. Why'd you get white? Because I live in the desert, dirty area. So, but they're so, they're, they're slipper moccasins. So she got a size 10. And they were just a little snug with no socks on. <laughs> just a little, just a little bit. And I said, they'll stretch out. And she was kind of disappointed. And she goes, well, you told me you were nine to nine and a half. I thought 10 would give you extra room for winter socks. Next time I'll order men's shoes. Because she said, those are made for ladies. Oh, damn. <laughs> ladies. Oh, I got I have Sasquatch feet. I know they're still connected, but I did have them on last night. And I walked around with them like this. <laughs> it was kind of fun. <laughs> they're high quality. High quality. I'm not kidding. That that furry stuff on the inside, whoo, makes my feet hot. Like immediately. I agree, Sonny. As long as new viewers are nice. So we came up with this thing. What was it, Chunky Kitten? Hashtag can't wear lady shoes. <laughs> Damn. She, oh, she's always digging at me. Got gun it. Did he say something else, Sonny? What the hell? I missed it. I knew that was going to be trouble. Let me catch up. You live lives in the land of Jack Daniels, that is. Half from Tennessee. Did you time somebody out, Sonny? I missed it. Somebody must have taken care of it. Yeah, we're we're supposed to get really cold and windy tomorrow. They are very comfortable. Chunky go spoiled brat. <laughs> well that's that's what I'm counting on you for. <laughs> Spoil me a little. Nobody else spoils me. I don't even spoil myself. That's what I said, Bird Nest, to her. She was really disappointed and said, you know, we can send them back. I said, no, they're not that tight. They'll stretch out. So we'll just keep rolling with them. 
horseradish cake. Um, with the prime rib, I don't know. Um, what I've done, I've only cooked one once um, in the oven. And if I recall, I now this sounds counterintuitive. I slathered it in softened butter, not melted butter. I mean, I had to get my hands on it and then cover it. And then I think I put uh, ground mustard on it. And something else. Now you would think this is what I thought would happen. And I stabbed it and had garlic. And there was a garlic seasoning on it as well. Um, that the butter would melt. And just everything would slip off. No, that didn't happen. Um, it actually formed a crust. And the butter went into the meat. It didn't slide off. But on the grill, I'm not sure. I've never... Done one on the grill, so that's my task. Can't wear lady shoes. Chunky Kitten says, hashtag can't wear lady shoes. Damn, she just gave me a little stab. Like, I'll have to go to the men's department, you big beast. Oh, he did, Sunny Shines. Thank you for taking care of that. No, I know it doesn't look that good right now, but that's the way it rolls. And then a couple of weeks, it will. It will grow out and it'll look better. So. Okay. Bernesco, she's way behind. We can speak freely. Okay, I need to catch up on y'all's ass. <sighs> okay, Steph. Thanks for popping in. Hi, Don. Let me catch up. Okay. Oh. Bigger is better, Sue Hall says. <laughs> In some cases, yes. All right, I'm caught up now. Come on, you little monkeys. What do you got to say now? I'm caught up now. I'll be on your ass. Chunky Kitten said, you have a long face and a long neck. You can pull off short hair. <laughs> I need to get the tape measure out. And, like, measure my neck. Shit. Now I'm all self-conscious about my neck. And she gave me this shirt. This came today. It's really soft. Really good quality. It's soft. So... Says, be kind. Fits well. Did a little modeling show here. It's long, which I like. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. Whoops, my earring came out. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, it's this side. So, those are my little Christmas gifts, and I have another one coming tomorrow, supposedly. Oh, <laughs> Junkie kitten I don't, I don't think you're supposed to call us monkeys. <laughs> no, I know. Well, you know, because I was thinking of, like, my playful monkeys that come in here sometimes and monkey around with me. That, that Well, that's where that thought process went. The way, the way it came out of my mouth, well, I guess, was a little different. Uh, this kind of looks butchy tonight. It really isn't. It's the way the lighting is and everything. Because it's really not. I hate the way it's looking in the camera, quite honestly. But I'm not going to obsess about it. It is what it is. <laughs> Irene goes, your neck, neck looks fine. I could be like those Ethiopian women and put circles and stretch it and stretch it and stretch it. 
Oh, little Max. Little Maxie goes more full body. <laughs> no, not tonight. <laughs> See, I'm more reserved because I have whiskey eggnog, so now I'm going to be more reserved. It scares me. <laughs> So she's sending me little gifts. It's fun. I get one every day. Fun. Don Kennedy. Oh, what is that? A kitten in a bag. Cat in a bag. Nice shirt, Bigfoot. Bird Nest says. Oh, Bird Nest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, Chunky liked the hat. She did. You know what? Because she wears a fucking six, size six. Like she's shopping in the kids' department. Bird nest goes not butch enough. <laughs> oh, Lord. Are we supposed to not say the word monkey now? <laughs> Oh, one of days. I ring one of day. No, I just can't call you guys monkeys. <laughs> Silly fat cat. Kate says I can't see the rest of it. There's an arrow. And then, you know, this is the bee kind, is what it says. The whole honeybee thing that she calls me. So then she tells me, she says to me, Oh, Lord, how'd she put it? Like, am I going to have those big flamboyant earrings on? It reminds her of her grandmother. Damn! <laughs> She's harsh to me, guys. You need to protect me. Big, ostentatious. That's me, baby. She didn't say that word. Your grandma earrings. I said, all right. So when I'm around you, I guess I'll just wear cute little ones like the ones I made. Like these. Which is fine. I didn't plan on taking these things down to Florida. Oh, look at this, Chunky. We're, we're all chunked up with the jewelry, with the bracelets. It's too much, right? It's too much. Bernice, you're so confused. <laughs> Not much enough of a haircut, but likes the big earrings. You're confused. <laughs> what, sweating the... In the slippers, oh, they're really warm, trust me. So in January, February, and March roll around and it's freezing and the floor is freezing, I wear them. I don't need them right now. They are very toasty, snug, warm slippers. I mean, is that what you meant, Irene? Or did you mean I'll sweat in the earrings? I wasn't really sure. <laughs> Bye, Sue. Damn. Damn. Look at how mean she is to me, you guys. Well, then you buy me what you want me to have and wear then. The check butt. I haven't seen you in... Man. Like... Maybe I think one time earlier this year. I haven't seen you in a long time. 
Yeah, I got I got plans for this cuff here. So <clears throat> Oh, I'll definitely need bond money. She already told me if like we had a blow up, if things didn't go right, she's just gonna <laughs> Get me a flight out of the nearest airport. <laughs> I can't. Like, she's already thought this out. <laughs> when here I thought there was no planning going on. There was submersive planning going on in her head. Subversive. Not submersive. Subver it's the whiskey. It's the whiskey eggnog. There was subversive. <laughs> no, I'm not bringing big earrings down. The bird nest is laughing. Chunky goes, no, I love you. Yeah, I'm staying COVID free. How about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Chuck butt. All right. Then you need to buy me better quality jewelry then, I guess. I don't know. I like my big chunky shit. Oh, no. <laughs> I wasn't calling you that. I was calling my jewelry that. <laughs> but I I can see how that could have been misunderstood. <laughs> it's the holiday goofies. Now it's the whiskey eggnog. <laughs> You're going to do a mustard crust. Yeah. Mine turned out incredible. I had it like medium at the ends and medium rare in the middle. We ate, um, like, after that, got some brioche buns, and I made steak sandwiches out of them with fresh peppers and onions. Oh, it was delightful. But I've never done it on a grill, and I don't want to fuck it up. So, Reba, baby! Hello, Reba, sugar, sugar. <laughs> we got the short haircut going on. Look, I can't quit screwing with it. Chuck, but they're not fishing. Did Chuck ask about fishing? No, my chicky kitten is not a fisher. Fisher lady. She'll eat the fish. She wants a fish brought to her, but she's not going to eat it. I mean, she's not going to catch it and go out there and mess with all that action. Look, you guys, she's bougie, kind of. Oh, there's Sean. Oh, boy. That cat streaming. Oh, you said steaming up YouTube again? <laughs> no. Don says, oh, my God, laughing so hard. Thank you, Reba. Yeah, it'll grow out in a couple weeks. It's short right now. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I told you it'd be okay. Hmm. They loved it in the salon, but what else are they going to say? <laughs> Whoa, your hair looks like shit, girl. <laughs> Bird nest, you're honestly trying to behave? Why? We, we don't expect that from you. Okay, Chunky. I know you got your AirPods in, so I know you're listening. Don't even try to fool me with that nonsense. What? Shell bells in the house? Uh, what? Where, where, where's Shell Bell? I didn't see a comment. 
Shell Bell! Hi, Shell Bell! I haven't seen you for a while. <laughs> Chucky goes, yes, I am. Yeah, I'm not falling for that. I know you always got your ears going and your eyes going. Reba, where are you? I'm in California. Oh, darn, yeah. Reba, where are you, really? I mean, I know from looking at the address on PayPal, but I haven't, like, lodged it in my mind. <laughs> Irene! The ladies in the salon said it looked great. Your short hair. You went home and decided to grow it out. No, this will look better by the time I go to Florida. Because that's two and a half weeks away. And then there's like three days of driving, I guess. Thank you, Shell Bell. So, in three weeks, that's when it will be right where I kind of like it. So, you know. I don't need to talk about my damn hair the whole time. Who gives a shit? Well, Merry Christmas to everybody. Everybody's mellow tonight. Thank you. Oh, this shirt is so soft. This woman knows quality. This is not like a man's rough t-shirt from Walmart. <laughs> I kept feeling it and I told her, I said, oh, it's kind of, you know, it's stretchy and it's really soft. Wow. I need a water bag. I'm still right there. It's been like an hour and a half. But now's the time to drink it. Yes, I did, Don. Yes, I did. You like my Madonna bracelets? Yeah! Tell Chunky. She's calling me 80s jewelry, grandma earrings. Well, then your grandma must have been cool and hip as shit, is all I can say. She mean to me, you guys. Stephanie Pooch! Hi, baby. Georgiana! Hello, honey. Reba needs a haircut. I was watching it through the week. Like, watching the planets getting closer and closer. That was cool. Thank you, Lily. Yeah, Chunky Kitten. Your opinion doesn't count, except for when I'm in Florida. Then it does. Because <laughs> I, you know, I don't want her looking at me and thinking, like, I'm a grandma. Nothing wrong with being a grandma. I'm just not a grandma. No. She's a grandma over oh, there. <laughs> Georgiana. Woo woo! You pronounced my name right. Yeah, it was cool. Lily! <laughs> I was watching my thighs get closer, not planets. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Were they just growing and spreading right before your eyes? <laughs> Thank you, Shell Bell. She says, congrats on the Florida trip. Yeah. We're both excited about it. <laughs> that was a good one. Mm. Another sip. Mm. 
So. <laughs> What else we got? What more what more stuff can I tell you about Chunky Kitten, how she jabs at me all the time? So I'm leaving all my jewelry. Uh-uh. Okay. Taking that off. That's too big and grandma-y for her. Taking that off. But I will always have stuff like this. My rope jewelry and stuff, so... That is coming to Florida. Whether she likes it or not. She's more reserved with jewelry. Just remember Audrey Hepburn had a long neck. <laughs> I feel like I'm out there like... <laughs> People are looking at my neck like, what, I'm a big old ostrich? <laughs> Do I smell carrots? Right <laughs> no, I don't smell carrots. <sighs> That's right, Lily. Next time I'm going to wear it all. All of it. It'll be down to here. I'll look like one of those Aborigine tribal women. And put it all on. How many earrings can I get in my hole? Bird nest? <laughs> Winter days? Behave? <sighs> um, in January... We're supposed to go, but I don't know. She's been not feeling so good, so I'm getting a little concerned about that. Oh, I missed the first part of the snowman joke. I'm sorry. We'll repeat it. I'm behind. I think I have whiskey fingers. <laughs> Shell Bell goes, oh, wow, those holes stretch, girl. <laughs> Don't behave winter days. That's no fun. Since when did you ever listen to me? You know how you get that coated tongue from eggnog? <laughs> Ooh, that's sexy. Hi, I'm Fat Cat. I have a coated tongue. How's yours, by the way? <laughs> Do you smell carrots? I'm still not getting it. What? No way. No freaking way. Okay. All right. Announcement. Announcement. Someone booted Chunky Kitten. She's back in now. D don't anyone in here boot Chunky Kitten. That's my friend that's taking me to Florida. Burtness goes, now she is cut off on the eggnog. I know. I get cut off from so many things. I don't know, Burtness. I know. You know, I wonder if I have some lingering... Um, I do. I do have some lingering moderators that aren't appearing in here and could um, be playing some effing games. Well, you all are here. 
you're acting like none of you did it. So it's someone who's not commenting in here that did it. On the back side without, you know, I mean, just... Say, whoops, it was, an it was an accident. You know I don't get twisted about stuff like that. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back in and I'm going to have to go in and change some things. I didn't want to have to do that. There are only three people I can think that might do it. That's so weird. What's wrong with people? Huh? She goes, I'm, Chunky goes, I'm just a girl who is trying to make me popcorn. <laughs> wow. Does it tell you that, Chunky Kitten, that you're blocked? Or do you, you just find out when you try to comment? Yeah, thank you, Kate. They are fun earrings. I don't care. Look, Chunky Kitten is just more modest. That's just the way that is. She's more minimalistic in her jewelry and stuff. I'm not. I've been this way my whole life. 60 years of life. So you were timed out then, I guess, Chunky Kitten. Okay, well, whatever. We're moving on. What did Sonny do? That, I mean, I'm lost here tonight. Oh, Sonny says, I don't see where she was booted. Okay. Because you guys can see things. The mods can see things that I can't see. Yeah, I kind of thought Mike Wilson was going to be a problem. I don't know who he is. So, Shelby has taken him out, deleted that message. Yeah, we're going to get that occasionally. So, we have the creepers coming in who want to, you know, piss in everybody's Fruit Loops. White cheddar, yummy. You guys have a lot of trolls you are dealing with? Oh my God, you guys. You know what? I probably should not have put eggnog live stream in the title. I think that's what drew them in. That's what that's what's drawing them in. Okay, I'm not freaking drunk, people. I'm just having fun and I'm pretty chilled out. I mean, I didn't think on you know Midweek night. Shelby, I'm glad you're in here, though, and Sunny, and some of you that are used to dealing with the trolls. I don't know that Bird Nest has had to really do that too much in the past or winter days. I don't really know. You guys just take care of business, and that's what I do know. Cracker Barrel White Cheddar Mac and Cheese is the best. Hmm. <laughs> it's your bracelets that bring special powers. Yeah, the short hair, the ostentatious jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> Irene says you can't say monkey and you can't say eggnog. <laughs> I know. I'm on restrictions. It brings out things. Brings out weird people, I guess. 
Sonny goes, we'll get him, fat cat. Well, I hate for you guys to have to fight with that. Damn. We've been so fortunate in the past few. Bell, hi. We've had so much fun in the past few. You, Bell, you didn't, you didn't stumble in at a bad time. I mean, just a little bullshit was going on, but. Oh, Bert, could burn us? You're slow. You're too busy, you know, writing. No, I'm not going to say it. Shell Bell is usually always really on top of it, and Sunny is too. What it? <laughs> I know. I <sighs> Irene, you can say whatever you want. I, well, not really, but you know what I mean. I just, eggnog in the title probably did, you know, bring people's attention to a live stream they wouldn't normally have looked at. So, we don't care. We say what we want around up in hell. Blue Ridge Grinny! <laughs> is the eggnog chatting too? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is, Blue Ridge Granny. <laughs> the eggnog doesn't make as much sense as the fat cat normally does. <clears throat> right. I'm sipping, though. I'm sipping. I've had this cup for a long time. Like two hours. Just monkeys drinking eggnog. <laughs> That's right, Bertness. Just a bunch of monkeys drinking eggnog. Woo! <laughs> Uh, went two days gets the idiots too. Right on. I know you guys are good. You guys try to protect me so I don't have to see it. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Blue Ridge Granny. Thank you so much. Hashtag eggnog chat. <laughs> Chucky says. <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. What do we got there in those beer and popcorn? <laughs> Junky kitten. Is that what that is? That's too tiny for me to see. Well, it was given to me as a neighborly Christmas cocktail moment. Eggnog and monkeys. Does... Oh, it's the cats. I thought it was coyotes. Okay, I think we have a cat situation. Let me go out there and break it up. Okay, guys. Hey, hey! Hey! What the fuck? Okay, I'll be right back. The cats need some food, and they're out there fucking fighting, and fur was flying everywhere. I'll be right back. The food is low because the birds got them, got the food, and got their... Uh, anyway, they're fighting, so...
while I'm at it, I might as well bring some into Freddy. See, if you don't feed the bitches, they will freaking fight like crazy. <laughs> Ta-da! We're back. Okay. Well, you know, normally they, they kind of, one, will sit back if there's another one there. But the food was low, so they're out there fighting for the last little bit of morsels. Well, I mean, I'm not kidding. Fur was flying everywhere. Wow. Whew. That's what happens around here. Bitches and fur and shit flies in my world. No, no, bitches don't fly, but <laughs> fur does. Ooh. I had to chase them. You know, because when a cat runs, then the other one, the more, the more dominant one, wants to kind of run after it. So I had to get a big piece of tumbleweed, put it down the middle, and they separated. So anyway. I feel like I'm looking like freaking Hitler here. Blonde Hitler. Let me go back and see what's going on here. Whew. That made me breathe hard. Because I was running. I don't, I don't like them tearing each other up. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I don't like that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, monkeys everywhere. Because I heard this. And I thought it was coyotes. And I'm like, yeah, that doesn't sound like the coyotes. <laughs> I'm laughing at Sunny Shine's comment. Oh, my God. She's now the cat lady. <laughs> Hey, I try to be the referee of things. Misha's in the house. Three cocktail Misha's in the house, everybody. <laughs> Misha goes, I see no one. Where are you? <laughs> Misha's always lost in these live streams. Oh my God, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Shell Bell goes, Oh, Chunky, she was the original cat lady at one time. Oh, yeah. Chunky was watching back then. She didn't watch everything. She probably didn't watch the damn cat videos because she didn't give a shit. She's a dog lover. So, yeah, when I was rescuing all the kittens and. Oh, I rescued 41 kittens and cats, you guys. Okay, this hair is fucking looking like shit in this video. I don't like it, the way it's looking. It's driving me insane. Looks better in person. So anyway, I just feel like I look like a fucking bald head up here. It's the lighting. M Misha, she had to feed the fighting cats, yes. Oh, you do remember Chunky Cat? I've saved a lot of them. Got them rehomed. Got some fixed. <laughs> well, Blue Ridge Granny, in all honesty, you know, I, I never meant to be the cat lady. I just, um, I can't really stand to see animals that are suffering and starving because of other people's ignorance and lack of responsibility. And I, I, I don't know. I just feel obligated to help them out. Because it, it hurts me. It hurts my heart. Am I caught up yet? No. What? what? What, Misha? Oh, my God. RV fat cats. Halifas. 
Palafuzz. Love it. I don't even know what that sentence means. <laughs> <laughs> oh Misha <laughs> Misha 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 <laughs> thank you Melanie well you know I think it's because the birds when I went to get my hair done and I was doing some things I didn't keep on top of the food and so there was just a little bit and so they were fighting over that Usually, if it's full, one will sit back and wait for the other one to eat. So they were kind of hungry, I think, and fighting over it. And I don't want that. Fat Cat the Cat Rescuer. Yes, I was for a period of time there. I sure was. At my own expense. I didn't get any help with that from, you know, park or anything. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, Misha. I was like bottle feeding i would catch these cats at four weeks of age <laughs> i was out there like spider woman because when they start when their eyes open and they start to walk you know they're all wobbly and stuff and i was nervous about taking kittens that young but i knew as soon as they got older i would not be able to get them they would be too wily for me and then the little monsters you know they now can move so well they're gonna tear your ass up so i would get them i'd put them on in a carrier that i had at that time put them on the bed and i would bottle feed them with a syringe take the wet cotton ball around their little area there so they would you know go potty because you have to do that that's why the mother licks them till they start doing it on their own oh yeah it was intense i think at one time, the most I had was nine. It was two litters. And I had nine at one time. Oh, you have to do it every three hours or so. But they were so precious. They were so precious. Oh, Sonny's on somebody else. Who's 64 Pit? I don't, I, I haven't even seen them. You must have taken them out. Okay. Looks like I've lost weight, Melanie. Mm, I don't know. I kind of go up and down. Oh, I, I kind of go up and down about five, six, eight pounds sometimes. I think I'm more down right now. Trying to get ready for Florida, people. Oh, yeah, it might hurt me too much to work at a cat shelter. I don't know. Because I do, I get real sad if I can't. Yeah, I had one that I called Eyeball. Somehow it got an infected eyeball. And I found someone to help get um she put a little um fundraiser on her facebook group and she had a vet that i think did it for around 350 dollars which is really cheap it normally would have been around seven or eight he had to operate and take the eyeball out because eyeball was no good and he said it would just shrink like a raisin and then cause headaches and stuff and you know what was so wonderful about that we then, she, with her help, okay, not not all me, I was fortunate enough to find her. Um, she was way more connected. She ended up getting a disabled couple that wanted a disabled animal, and they took eyeball. Because I was like, who's going to want eyeball? Which is one eyeball. <laughs> I was worried. I was worried for a little eyeball. <laughs> She was so sweet. Uh, and they took her. And the gal that I was working with said they spent like $600 at PetSmart to get stuff for her. Cat climbing, dealios, trees, and little, you know, beds and studded collars and, I think, you know, finger rings. <laughs> toe rings and stuff. I don't know. I spent $600. That's all I know. The 
Thank you, Misha. Yeah, they know me. When I whistle like that, I've broken up more cat fights by just... That's good tongue strength right there. That's what that is. <laughs> For those of you who have ear buds in, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you so much, Melanie. Okay, I need to catch up. Someone said studded collars. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Can I get any studded collars at the Dollar Tree? Do they have that there? I don't know. I guess I have to go on Amazon for that. Shell Bell goes, I'm in so impressed with the whistling skills. <laughs> Chucky Kitten, I know, I know, I thought of you with your AirPods in. <laughs> sorry, I had a show off minute. <laughs> Yikes, sorry. I should have said warning, warning. Turn the volume down. Mm hmm. Chunky, that's how I got the Amazon guy today when your package came. He was going the wrong direction. He was like 40 feet from me and I whistled and he looked <laughs> over here. <laughs> Carry tongue straight. That's right, Chunky. <laughs> I can do magical things with that part of my anatomy. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> oh. Call me Whiskey Barbie tonight. <laughs> See, I'm still nursing this thing, really. It's been over two hours. That stuff scares me. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, it comes in handy, Melanie. It comes in handy to whistle like that. I have whistled down more men than I care to tell on here. <laughs> And they come running every time. <laughs> Misha goes, good tongue strength. Oh my gosh. I'm scared of you, girl. <laughs> they all come when mama calls. Yes. And when I whistle for Freddie, it's a more gentle whistle. And he comes. I don't even call his name. Wait. <laughs> Chunky goes, wait. Bird Nest wants a studded collar? What happened? How did we switch from little kitten stories to studded collars? <laughs> That's Bird Nest and Winter Days for you. But Winter Days is being mellow tonight. Uh-huh. I think she scared herself. I think she scared herself in the last few streams. So she's trying to act all proper now. It's not going to work. We already know. LOL triggered. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Misha, just have another cocktail, honey. <laughs> trigger warning, trigger warning, whistling about to occur. Oh, winter days goes, oh no, I'm not scared. No. No, I did not say they bought the one... Don't call it the one-eyed cat. I called her eyeball. But I did not say studded. I thought I said jeweled toe rings. Did I say studded collars? 
Oh, my mind is in a dirty, dark place. Okay, I didn't realize I actually said that. Because my mind's in a dirty, dark place today. <laughs> I think I need some therapy. It's, it's just, it's the eggnog, okay? Don't hold me accountable for anything I say tonight. Oh, I did! Shell Bell goes, yep, you did! Okay, whoa! I was thinking about my trip to Florida when I was telling the cat story. So, I think I, I, think I merged the two together <laughs> with the studded collar comment. That might have been too much information right there. <laughs> you did indeed. Look at everybody. Look at everybody coming at me. <laughs> Dirty dark place. Junkies. Yes. You already know today when I talk to you. <laughs> Henry <laughs> says fat cat's been exercising her tongue. That's right. I'm whistling as much as I can right now. <laughs> ha! Shelbyl! Shelbyl! goes, because you're taking a studded collar to Florida? Question mark? <laughs> Shelbyl, you've missed some things, my dear. You haven't been in here. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh, look at Misha. Now all of a sudden she can type a sentence without all the words running together. My whistle brings all the boys to the yard. My whistle is better than yours. I can teach you what I have to charge. My whistle brings all the boys to the yard. My whistle is better than yours. Oh, is that a song? Is that a song? I don't know that song. Well, I don't really want to bring all the boys to the yard. But I've literally whistled when people have been fighting. And trust me, it startles the shit out of them when I'm close and I whistle like that. Yeah. When, in the past, when people have been my neighbors and they're fighting, I've whistled and told them to knock it off. Just like I treat the cats that are fighting. <laughs> they're all animals. Bye, Misha. Chunky goes, I ain't scared. No, I told Chunky today before my haircut. I mean, because this is so funny. Um, that I had my three vodka lemonade tonight. Um, that I was online on Amazon and my fingers were doing some walking and I ended up in the leather department. <laughs> And I said, I found a really cute little riding crop to bring to Florida. It has purple tassel on it. You know, the spinky part. <laughs> she, said, she said, if you come at me, I'm going to put you in a chokehold and take you down to the ground. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. A writing crap. Fat cat got loose lips. She goes, Chunky, fat cat's got loose lips tonight. Mm, turning red. <laughs> Well, you know, you guys are egging her on to spank me a few lives ago. So I get to choose the weapon. That's the way I see that. <laughs> Welcome to Rice Field. Okay, smiling Vietnamese. Says smiling Vietnamese, save yourself. 
<laughs> very good. Very good. Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> right, I'm cowgirl. That's right, Shelby. Now, Chucky, I'll take me to the floor. <laughs> okay, bye, Sonny. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you, Sonny, so much, honey. Thank you for being in here when you don't feel well. I really appreciate that. We do miss you. You're an integral part of our chat. You're always missed. All right. Self revive. What a rare. I've never seen it. Okay, there's something weird going on there with smiling Vietnamese. Oh, I don't know the milk milkshake song. Okay, Misha goes, okay, I'm really going this time. Thank you, honey. Thank you, Sonny. We'll see you next time. And yes, we will be doing lives from, from Florida. At least I will be. You'll hear her chitter-chatter in the background. Trust me on that. Okay, smiling. I'm going to go random. Wrong chat, wrong time. Yeah, that might be the case right there. Because we don't really understand what you're talking about. And you probably don't understand what I'm talking about. So, it's all good. All right, well, I've been on an hour and 12 minutes. I came on late. It is late for everybody. And, um... Everybody seems mellow tonight. See, and I had the the eggnog juice, and I don't have too many players. He, he might. All right, Bird Nest, everybody. I'll be back on in a couple of days. Maybe Christmas Eve, along with 14,000 other people on YouTube. Maybe Christmas Day. We'll just have to see how it goes. All right, everybody. Bye-bye. Well, why bird nest? You don't need to behave. All right. Bye, everybody. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. It was fun. Bye.